Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Before we get started in today's video, I gotta give a shout out to Skillshare, sponsoring today's video. So the thing you really need to know about Skillshare, it's this online community of learning, and it's really, really cool and really easy to use. And so recently I just decided I wanted to do this course. So this time I wanted to learn how to design my own items to 3D print. So I logged on to Skillshare and I typed in 3D printing, and this is what came up. Intro to 3D class. And this creator tells me how I can design and print from scratch from a beginner's perspective. It is a really cool course and I loved it. And I'll show you what I printed in an upcoming video. And so there you go. I'm gonna 3D print that as soon as I design it and I'm gonna show you my little magnet that I'm gonna put on here. I'm actually gonna create a bunch of magnets that are gonna go on here. It's gonna be funny and you know it. And so it's been three months of using Skillshare for myself and already I've learned a lot. You just type the thing in you wanna learn and it's there. If you wanna learn how to you know, make, build a spaceship, I'm sure it's there too, I don't know. Being a creative, I always wanna be learning something new. And I think that's what Skillshare is really good at. The partnership with Skillshare includes the first thousand people will get one month free trial on Skillshare by using the link right here. It's also in the description below. So now is the time to do the thing you've always wanted to do. Head over to Skillshare, use my code, get connected and start learning. Let's get to the video. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining. Today we're talking part two of the royalty family story with Pierre, the, the bio dad of Ferran, the kid who lives with his mom and Ali, who's not his dad on the royalty family. I did an update on Unfolded Friday about how they turned off all their comments and everything that's going on. It is getting crazy. Their lawyer sent me a message, so let's get into it. It's actually quite revealing when a large, and I mean huge, 16 plus million subscriber YouTube channel turns off their comments. Okay, it's a big deal. What is coming down the pike for Andrea specifically, I can't tell you because it's crazy and we're waiting. And I guess Pierre has asked me to just hold off until the lawyers have done their, their job. Okay, so there's a lot going on. Pierre did flag the video and they took down all the comments, but now we're going to look for a lawyer and you'll hear it in the interview. We're going to look for a lawyer that will be able to lobby YouTube to help figure this out because it's a custody issue, right? Okay. So all that to be said, Pierre came on, I'm going to show you that interview in a second, but their lawyer from, um, Lavely and Singer, it's attorneys at law in Los Angeles, California. I don't like, they have lots of attorneys, like lots. So they sent me for all intents and purposes, it's not really a cease and desist. It's just asking me to take down the video and they're doing it in the way that lawyers always do that. So, I mean, I'm not going to read it to you like word for word. They're giving me a one-time opportunity to take down the video. That's what they're saying here. And you know, I, I don't, I don't feel I have, I, I don't feel that they have grounds to demand me to take down a video with an interview with a bio dad of a kid that's on the internet. These people are famous and that's what happens when you live on the internet. People are going to talk about you. We didn't make up any lies as far as I'm aware. We showed you all the receipts that Pierre had and everything that's going on. Of course, we don't know the entire story because Andrea and Ali have not shared their story publicly. They are staying mum on it. They don't want to tell people the truth because the truth is really scary. Okay, the truth, they don't want their fans to know the truth. And can you blame them? That's where their money is made. So that's kind of what's going on. So they did send me a letter and, uh, you know, I sent it off to my lawyer and all that stuff. It's just, it's really hard for them for any, like any YouTuber out there who does commentary channels. If you get a cease and desist letter, obviously hire a lawyer to look at it for the most part. And this is not legal advice, everybody from me. I'm just saying for the most part, in my experience from the letters that I've received, they're just trying to scare you. That's it. They think that because they got a, a lawyer's because they got lawyer letterheads and everything else. It's just going to scare you. And maybe they will try to see you. Maybe they will. And, you know, but the, the likelihood of them actually succeeding in a lawsuit against a commentary channel that is giving an opinion and not lying. I'm not, it's not like I'm putting salacious lies out about them. I'm just showing you all the receipts. So is it the lie that she did PRN? No, because we have the receipts for it. It's a lie that she exploits fraud. No, it's on the channel. Is it a lie that Ali's not his dad? No. Nope. Is what Pierre said a lie? He's got all the receipts to show you. So I guess it's just a matter of 
desperation, I think, um, the, you know, this is their, they make millions of dollars. And if your wallet is, if your money is being messed with, of course, you're going to hire a lawyer. Of course, you're going to try everything in your power to mitigate the disaster that's coming down, right? Because this is a disgusting thing that's happening. I cover the exploitation of children on YouTube as a main thing of my channel. It is the main driver. It is what I do here generally. This is that. Plus, it has this element of like parent parental alienation and everything else going on where these fam where this family have kept this son away from his dad. And again, Pierre has all the receipts you ever need. This guy has so many effing receipts, it's crazy. They've been speaking through this 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 channel thing that they're supposed to speak through, and then she stopped talking to him after she, he proved to her that she was in Mexico and she didn't let him see his child. You're gonna hear it in the interview here. It is nuts. Now, the lawyers are probably gonna go toe to toe all for this. But my concern is the exploitation of Ferran in the end. Without his informed consent, this kid is going to have to live in this world where he's famous without his consent, where his privacy is put on the internet without his consent. Okay. Where his mother has done some, you know, not so socially acceptable things. Well, maybe socially acceptable now, but those things are going to come to haunt Ferran when he goes to school, if he goes to school. Okay. That stuff is out there. Also, knowing that his dad is out there searching for him, wanting to be with him, loving his son, and, and then being treated differently and allegedly being told that his dad's a bad guy and all that kind of stuff, that's called parental alienation, and that's why I cover this. So, without further ado, let's see this interview with Pierre. So, after we talked last, the video obviously got a lot of views. There's a lot of people interested in your story. There's a lot of people who believe you, like I completely believe you. Um, obviously, there is some confusion of certain things like the visa and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure that will come out. I think we just need to dial it in a little bit more about what we know what's going on. But um, let's, let's talk about what has happened since we've done the interview. Now, what happened on your end since the interview was done? Did you get, you got a response from their lawyer, right? Yes. Uh, well, I, they sent me like, uh, they sent to the old uh, house that my, 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 my parents used to live there, but my parents have a very nice communication with that policeman that is in the, in the door. And they, they said, they, they sent me a letter from their lawyer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very huge letter, no? As you say it. They sent him a cease and desist letter, meaning yeah. they're telling, they're, 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 this is called a cease and desist. So what, what's happening yeah. is they're getting scared because they had to shut the comments off of their videos. Mm -hmm. They had to shut the comments off their TikTok. There's been a lot of people calling them out for what they've done. Not a lot yes. of people knew that Andrea was Selena Spice. <laughs> they didn't know that she was a porn star. So that's all coming out now, even though it's not really a big secret. It's not really a secret. So what's happened is, is they, are, they, they have a high priced lawyer who will do whatever they can to, to silence people like me and you the yeah. father of doing of talking about this stuff because it's going to hit their bottom line eventually now you provided all the receipts we needed to see about the arrest records you provided pictures of your car being destroyed yes. and hit with paint and that you talked about you and Ali had a conversation we talked about all that crazy stuff we yeah. talked about how the world thinks Ali was his real dad and he wasn't. Then they sent you the cease and desist letter. And then what happened is they sent you a message through that family chat, right? Yeah, so the talking parents. Before we go to the talking parents, I want to say that, uh, yes, all the people know that right now she she was uh, Southern Spice and she, she used to do porn in, in internet. But uh, I think that too much the, that channel royalty family it's 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 for it's, they made it for kids you know mm -hmm. and and the parents of those kids need to know who is influencing their sons no i think that uh, the people need to know what kind of people are your your kid is being who's watching yeah, yeah so watching. what you're saying and, and that's what i say in this channel a lot so they come across as they're innocent but first of all, there, there's this parental alienation thing happening where, yes. and Andrea has not let you see Ferran for seven years. Yes. Okay. You don't have the number. You can't call. She won't let him call you. They've been to Mexico multiple times and has yes. not let you see him. Also, there's the porn life where mm -hmm. it's, that matters because you're right. There are kids watching this stuff and the video that I dismantled of her doing inappropriate videos with him, that's mm -hmm. really scary. And yeah. kids are watching that. Also, yes. the fact that their whole channel is based on a lie. Yes, and when, imagine you when, if you have a kid 
and they follow the royalty family and then you 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 you, you want to search and Rincon and it's easy to to get the, the all the pictures and then it's it's easy that a kid go to mm -hmm. Andrea Rincon and it says slash Selene Spice and then you your kid with eight years, nine, ten years, eleven years go through porn pages. Mm -hmm. So what do you say? I'm going to clarify what he's saying here. It's really important to know this. That threat channel is directed towards children, which means that they know that that's who's watching. Mm -hmm. And what, what Pierre is saying is absolutely correct. It's not necessarily the fact that she did it because she's yeah. a consenting adult and lots of people do that. Yeah. The yeah. fact is, is that when they do research and they want to become huge fans of this channel, eventually what they're going to run into is porn. Yes, they will. It will happen because sure. it's very, very evident and very easy to search with Andrea's page. Okay, yeah, so, so let's yeah. let's get to talking parents. What happened? Yeah. Uh, seen, well, I, I tried to to reach her several times uh, by years in the talking parents, telling her that, hey, let me see my son. How how is he in the school? How is he in the pandemic? Uh, let me talk with my son. And after several years and several, uh, I don't know, uh, interviews Messages. with many people, uh, she appears, no? She appears. So let me stop you there for a second. When you guys were doing Talking Parents at first, she would respond, right? Yes. And now, how many years was it until she responded again on Talking Parents? Like two years, but that the, the first years, when, when I get out from the United States, because all the story back, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, we used to talk in, in, in like in talking parts. How is my son? I need to see him. Please talk to him. Uh, let me talk to him. And uh, two years ago, she never. Uh, when, well, she came to Mexico. I said to her, "Hey, you are here. I have a friend of mine who is in the airplane that you you are in. So you are going wow. to be in in Mexico City. Your airplane number is number child number. Wow. This is number." The hour of your arriving is going to be this hour. Uh, he sent me pictures of you in the airport, so I want to see my son. Mm -hmm. And she and that day she never answered anymore any any message. And that is really important, everybody. I need you to remember that because what the lawyers are sending me messages for, and I'll talk about it a little bit after. And Pierre is that what they're trying to do is paint Pierre as the enemy here, right? They're trying to paint mm -hmm. Pierre as somebody who does not want to see Ferran. They're saying that you had your opportunity and you didn't want to do it. And now that she's responded, because this is what we're, we're getting to, she has finally responded. So what did she say to you? She said that, oh, finally you appear. And I said, what? And then she said, I emailed you. Well, you have the picture of the... Yeah, I have it. I'll I read it. it. Yeah, I'll read uh, it. So it's good. Maybe you can put it there. Yeah. And, and, and she said, finally you appear. After you, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I, I'm not very good in, in, very fluent in English. So I, I, I try to understand what she put there. But she said like, uh, you didn't pay the child support, so uh, that's why you, you can see your, your, your son. I, I, I understand that, no. And I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put my son uh, in. I'm gonna record you when you call my son mm -hmm. because I don't want you to, to say bad things about me to my son. Mm -hmm. And I said, what? I, I, and before that, she said to me, uh, don't be angry if he don't want to talk to you or he said bad things to you. Mm -hmm. So I said, I think that is not correct because she needs to, a, good, a very good mom said to his son, listen, my son, your, your dad is a good dad. Your dad wants to see you. Your dad is, is fighting for you. So please talk to your dad. Or, or making a phone call uh, every 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 week, you know, they are not doing that. Yes, they this, are, and this are, is what I'm alluding to. So this is what I'm getting to, and I messaged them back and said, "Hey, I'm happy to have Ali and Andrea on the show to tell their side. Happy to, <laughs> happy to. They're not going to, but I said." I wonder if you could ask them if they know what parental alienation is. Now, Pierre, I don't know. I'm going to try to explain this to you a little bit. Obviously, we do have a language barrier. Mm -hmm. But what parental alienation is, is when one side of the family has majority custody of a child. Okay? Mm -hmm. it's And they try to push you out by telling Ferran bad things about you, that you mm -hmm. don't want to be with him, and all these things over a period of years. And because this kid is impressionable, he's just learning and he's growing... That's all he hears. So mm -hmm. in the end, 
he believes it, even though it's not true. Yes. Because, and I'm, that's why I'm glad that you made all the social media accounts, that you keep all of your receipts, you've got all your ducks in a row, mm -hmm. because even though he may have been alienated from you now, and he might even hate you, quote unquote, right? Yes. And there might have to be some therapy and everything that else goes along with that. Sure. But he will be able to see as he gets older and matures that you never stopped fighting for him. Yes. And you never stopped looking for him. You never stopped wanting to be with him. And he'll be able to see that because the receipts are there. Yes. So here's what happens. She, she gets scared because all of the social media pressure is getting to them. Okay, sure. they're losing subscribers. Yeah. They're lo they're probably losing ads. They're doing they they YouTube will might eventually demonetize them, mm -hmm. so they're getting scared, which is why they're getting lawyers involved, which is mm -hmm. why she messaged you. Yeah. So that's why I wanted mm -hmm. to tell everybody it was two years when you knew they were coming to Mexico. You wanted to see him, where she shut off communication. Yes. Yeah. So these lawyers and her lawyers obviously have to work for her. They know damn well that she did that. And and and. It's very easy to find like uh, the last passport or the, the last visit when she came to Mexico. And I have the chat that I show her that she was here. Mm -hmm. She was hiding my son. She, she can hide that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's illogical. She needs to call to immigration and, and said, I don't know. Hey, could you raise when I was in Mexico? Mm -hmm. That's illogical. She can do that. that that's, a, that's a proof. Yeah, you, you the, thing I, the thing I love about you, Pierre, is all of the receipts that you have. <laughs> yes. So there are going to be haters. There are going to be people that don't believe you. Some people were commenting, oh, I saw bruises. I'm like, how would you see anything? You were never in any family vlogs. Andrea herself has not come out and said anything negative about you. Like, they, she doesn't say that you guys fought. You never were abusive. And maybe she will now because she'll use whatever she can. But she, even to this point, you can't believe anything she says now because she's backed against a wall. And if she comes out with all these crazy crazy allegations now no yeah. one's gonna believe her because all she had to do was tell everybody for the last seven years and then yeah. people would have felt for her they said oh we're so sorry this happened to you but Pierre people like me and everybody who's seen the video can see right through that that you're yeah. a good man just looking for your son and yeah. so you respond yeah and I know and that's mm -hmm. and that's and it's not like you don't want him to be taken away from her you no. just want your fair share of your son yes yeah, yeah. so I don't know. yeah you know any just being able to see him like you should be able to they're wealthy yeah. enough that he could fly back twice a month easily and I'm sure you even pay for it it's yeah. just the way it goes so you responded back in Spanish yes I I, I responded her like I'm sorry I don't understand you <laughs> please can you text me in, in Spanish mm -hmm. you are Colombian so you you don't rise in the United States, so um, can you text me in Spanish, please? Yes, and I asked you this, and so she is her first language is Spanish. She's Colombian, for sure. Right? Yeah. She it's it's what she knows. Here's what I'm going to. Th here's what I think happened, and I could be wrong. This is a this is an out. This is not proven, but what she wrote you is what her lawyers wrote you. Ah, for sure. I I know her. She have a very, very bad, um, how do you say that? Uh, she can do a, a, a good letter. She can write a Oh, so she good doesn't, she's not fluent writing English? Even in Spanish. Oh, even she in have, Spanish, okay. Yeah, she said like, words with S, she put it with C. You know, she, she can't, I don't know. Does, she, is, is she educated? Not, uh, I think she only made like the secondary. Um, like not even high school? High school, yes. Okay. She made, and that's all. Okay. She, she never made. Not that, universe. not that that matters, but it does matter because yes. we. I'm pointing that out because the 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 letter was written by a lawyer, and yes. you asked to be corresponded with in your first language and her first language, and I'm they were, and and they refused to do it. Yes, a Ferran uh, first uh, language. He born so, here. He writes here. He speaks Spanish. He does. He's, he's fluent in Spanish and English. Yeah. He's, he's a smart kid. We know that. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. that to me, first of all, is absolutely inappropriate because that is your first language and hers. And the fact that they will not correspond with you in your preferred language is, is saying a lot because yeah. you know why? Because the lawyer doesn't want to write in English, then put it through Google Translate because you'll be mm -hmm. able to tell how mm -hmm. bad it is translated, right? So yeah. that's, again, that's not proven, but we know by reading the letter and by Pierre saying that she's not educated, there's no way that she wrote that. So no. you wrote back and then what did she say? And she said like, um, so she wrote this on January 27th, 2022. Okay. At 8, 10 PM, you and I are to communicate only through talking parents regarding Ferran. 
I've not heard from you in many years, except she's the one that cut off communication, mm -hmm. and you have continued to show no interest in your son. Again, everybody needs to remember, this is written by a lawyer, not by Andrea. Yes. You also were ordered to pay nominal child support of $706 per month directly to the state of California for Ferran. But don't, she needed. Okay. <laughs> but she doesn't need it, doesn't matter, but yeah. doesn't don't you have receipts that say that she didn't want the child support? Yes, I have okay. a, I have a, a, a paper where she signed it and she said, I don't want child support. And we'll put that up right here. Yes. We'll yes. put it up right here. You sent that to me. Okay. Yes. You've never paid for any of this child support. To remind you, I was awarded sole legal and physical custody of Ferran on November 28th, 2018. Wow. Ferran is now 11 years old and very intelligent and thoughtful. He's in excellent health and doing very well. I have tried to avoid the many questions he has asked about you and why you have consistently been absent from his life these many years and abandoned him. So she's, again, what they're trying to do is paint a picture of you. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Because you have every receipt of every time you've ever tried to reach out, right? It's not yes. like you stopped. You've always been looking for him, right? Always. And you have every receipt. Yes. Okay. Same talking parents. So it's in talking know. parents and you didn't yes. did you stop talking to them for years and years no no i, okay. I text her i text her I text her hey i want to see my son okay obviously not directly yeah but you know eventually okay. I, I text her so they continue you are now trying to force on ferran a relationship with you without any consideration of the many issues you have created and the fact that you have not lived in the united states for many years which we know is because she revoked your visa Yes. But we have to talk about that. We have to talk about that, Pierre, because a lot of people are questioning how she could revoke your visa. Okay, so we'll have to figure out. You have to get the translation to me of how she did that properly, because I don't know how. And there are lots of questions about how she took your visa away from you. I I I also can give you the phone number of the lawyer, mm -hmm. the, the one that I who, the, which I, I pay the visa for us for the family. Mm -hmm. uh, she sent a letter to him. And he cancel my visa. Why? Why she do? Why she be able to do that? Because we were under her, you know. Oh, you were under her, so she removed you from under her. Yes, that makes more sense. Okay, yes. perfect. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. you cannot make these issues disappear. They have to be addressed. If you are genuinely ready to try and start some type of relationship with your son, then you will need to start slowly to regain your son's trust. I suggest that you start setting up a FaceTime call with Ferran on a date and time we can set up. I do not know if Ferran will agree to have such a call with you, but I will encourage him to do so. Here's my question, Andrea. Why didn't you encourage him to do so for the last five years? Yes. Why now? What's mm -hmm. going on now? It's because by January 27th, your social media presence was starting to get big. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Okay. However, you're going to need to prepare for what Ferran may say to you. That's really really scary that yeah. means the alienation she has taught him to be that way and yeah. she might even be telling him hey be honest with your dad he didn't he wasn't here for you be mm -hmm. honest with him again there is i think a judge will see this i think psychologists and lawyers can see right through that they yeah. that is not something you can play anymore that's not yeah. fair okay um that's psychology okay how are mm -hmm. you going to need to be okay um i am very concerned also about what you will say to him and rather than focusing on our relationship your relationship that you use the opportunity to make negative remarks about me okay except that's not fair because you're not like that and she has had six years to make negative remarks against you, about you without sure. you having a say so that's not fair i'm also concerned that you have an ulterior motive for this call having nothing to do with any genuine interest you have a friend i will not allow this to happen i will be nearby during your call with friend it will be recorded so there is no misunderstanding about what friend says to you and how he's feeling <clears throat> may i suggest this it's good that you didn't because what they were trying to get on camera is Ferran telling you not to call him anymore. Ah, that, for sure. Exactly. And so they want that. So in a court, they'll say, well, Fran doesn't want to. So it's actually smarter that you didn't do that. And it's better that you get um, a mediator when you, you do want, get a chance to do it. I, I have a, a record from my kid uh, when they came to Mexico. Mm -hmm. listen, to, listen to this story. They, I, I told you, no, I, they came to Mexico. I told her, hey, I know you are in Mexico. Let me see my son. Uh, I text her. Uh, she said to me, you are a liar. And I said, I'm not a liar. You are in Mexico. She took a photo and she put it in the, she took a photo of her in the, in the, in the, in the gym. And she took a photo in the gym. She used to go in Mexico. What an idiot. My, my sister my sister goes to that gym. Yeah. She, well, she used to go to that gym. They moved the house. 
and 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 my sister said look this is the the wall yeah. she took the picture so she is in mexico so she proved that she's mexico and you have the proof yes i call wow. her i call her i call her i call her and then she answered me the the whatsapp and she said to me i'm not in mexico and i and then my i she said I have a, the record that she, that for, she put Ferran in in phone, and and he and he said to me, "Dad, stop talking me. I don't want to talk to you anymore, mm-hmm. and stop uh, say bad things to my mom." Mm-hmm. And I said, "Okay, that's it." I, I see she 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 alienated my my son to tell him to tell to say yeah. to tell me that kind of things yeah and this i gotta tell everybody this this is the most disgusting thing any parent who loves their child could do pierre you're not an abuser you just want to see your son and she has mobilized him and she's weaponized him against you okay. that is what alienation does yes. and so he's that's what he's been taught that's, that's why legal. when that's why and and that's why this has to happen legally all this thing that has to go on because it's going to be hard for you guys at first but i honestly do believe that with proper therapy and everything else he's going to come around to see this because she's had so many years to do this and you know ali who's a snake has been doing it too this is the scariest part of the situation Yes. is that they've been able to do this and and the, it's proof is in the pudding that they did that okay so i believe that it will take a great deal of time for even phone calls to continue between you it may be necessary that we have a therapist intervene to be present when any i i, I agree with her here mm-hmm. you do need you do need an, a mediator and a therapist that's not paid for by her that's that's a, a intermediary that says that can that specializes in parental alienation so they can figure it out you do yes. need that Yes, um, sure. I do not want to monitor your relationship with Ferran, and I believe it may be best that a professional become involved. Agreed. We need to take baby steps, especially given the fact that you have not been around. And again, we know mm-hmm. that you haven't been around because she revoked, revoked your visa, yes. and you stayed in the country for two more years because yes. what else could you do? And it and inadvertently ruined every chance you had to be there. Yes. So, yes, you broke the law, but you didn't have a choice. You were trying mm-hmm. to be there for your kid. And I'm now sure. she won't let you see your kid, even if she comes to Mexico. That's yeah. that's where I don't think her lawyers, well, they know this. And yeah. your lawyer will know this. Yeah. They don't have a legal leg to stand on when they've been in Mexico multiple times and haven't let you see your, ch- your kid. Yeah. Okay, so this is what happened. The follow-up was March 12th. Mm-hmm. I'm following up on the last message I sent with you on January 27th, and I've attached it below. Pursuant to the court order, blah, blah, blah. So she just resends the message and then you mm-hmm. write back in Spanish. I don't speak English. Can you please speak Spanish? It's you're you're asking. Uh, no entiero en inglés. Me lo puedo mandar en español de favor. Muchas gracias. Yeah. You're saying please speak in, 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 in Spanish. And then this yeah. is what happened. Pierre, you are fluent in English language. I will not be communicating with you in any other language. Ferran will not be communicating you with any other language. You have received two emails from which are very clear, which attempt to address immediate options for your relationship with Ferran. You are not choosing to respond to my emails to ignore your relationship with Ferran. See, they're just trying to paint it like you're, they wanted to make you out to be the bad guy. Mm-hmm. So they're like, well, you, we gave you the opportunity and you're not taking it. Yes. When, when we're talking here, we know why you didn't, because you know that it's going to end bad for you legally. You yes. have to do this properly. Yeah. And if, and that's why that's why they're saying that they're setting mm-hmm. you up legally. But the fact that they won't speak to you in their native tongue and yours speaks mm-hmm. volumes. That's her lawyer will not respond to you in your language, mm-hmm. and you need to be spoken to with both of your first languages. She's yes. fluent. She knows how to speak that language. So does Ferran. And the fact that they're saying you can't even speak to your son in Spanish that is a no go for me. That's no. not cool. Okay. She's Mexican. He's Mexican. Yep. And that's where, and that's, and so that's where we landed. What we can say is that you flagged the videos. We tried that. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you flagged it, they removed the comments, but YouTube did not take the videos down. No, they, I sent the, I sent it twice. Maybe the the people in, in, in all the followers that she have and she, uh, and they are really, believe me, Mm-hmm. They maybe can help me to flag the, the YouTube where, where my yes. kid is up. Is up so hearing. that's not going to work. What's going to have to happen, Pierre, our next step is going to be hiring a lawyer in the U.S. Mm-hmm. that deals with this. So yeah. if anybody who's following the, sh- the show knows of a family lawyer, um, let us know. Pierre, you're happy to pay for that lawyer. I imagine it's not going to be too much. But the next step is for to is a lawyer to lobby YouTube mm-hmm. on your behalf 
with all the receipts that you have, like birth certificates yeah. and everything else. So the next step is to hire a lawyer. So yeah. I'm going to help you do that. We're going to get a lawyer and we're going to send YouTube the, the legal way of doing it. And then you'll see all the videos start coming down. Yeah. If not, YouTube might completely demonetize the channel because um, they did this with Piper Raquel as well. Because I know we can't say what we really want to say, Pierre, but there is mm -hmm. some there is some stuff that's going to come out very soon about Andrea that's mm -hmm. going to blow everybody's mind, yes. and it might completely demonetize this channel because of the lies that she's living in right now. Yes, yes, for sure. So we can't say anything because your mm -hmm. lawyer is working on it, but just yeah. trust us. When Pierre told me, I was like, <laughs> so. And again, God this is, is God yeah, is that is good. Me. And hear <laughs> this out, everybody. This 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 is what this comes down to. Pierre is a loving father who loves his child, wants to see him. And so Pierre over the years has kept every single tiny piece of correspondence between him and Ferran's mom and Ferran. Mm -hmm. P Pierre has more receipts than anybody I've ever met before. He mm -hmm. is not dumb. He's very mm -hmm. smart and he's a loving dad. And that's why he has kept everything. He's kept his file open and he's done videos where he's gone on TV in Mexico and you're crying and you're mm -hmm. crying out for your son. And yes. all that time of the seven years, they have been alienating your son from you. And all of yeah. a sudden, when your platform starts rising, then they start talking to you. Again, mm -hmm. I know that she has expensive lawyers, and that's fine. Yeah. But I think any lawyer worth their salt or any judge worth their salt that sees this in its entirety is going to be able to put so many holes in everything that they've done because of the fact that they've been to Mexico, the fact that they stopped talking to you after you proved that they were Mexico, all yes. of these types of things. And after what comes out, soon comes out it's yes. going to be insane. insane and andrea and andrea knows what it is yes. she yes. she must know because <laughs> she's scared they shut off every yeah. comment something sure. is uh, uh, and again in the end if if the win here is that nothing of this goes to court and you just we stop talking about it but she lets you see your son that's yes. a win that's a win yes. what you're yes. saying is that you want to parent him you're scared of also i mean the big part of this too is why i'm involved in this is because the big part of this is the exploitation of it all he's mm. being exploited for millions yes. of dollars he's got predators that are likely coming after him like this kid is not going to be able to live a normal life mm -hmm. and he's he's going to be bullied for his mother being in porn when mm -hmm. he gets into high school if he yes. ever does go to high school yes. you know that he's going to be bullied those kids are going to find those pictures of his mother and they're going to bully him that's scary mm -hmm. if yes. he goes to mexico it won't happen no they are not like famous here the most of the people that they follow are, uh, they are from the United States or other countries, but Mexico is not like... I, I, I asked for someone, do you know King Ferran? Who? Yeah, <laughs> Who's <he>? exactly. <laughs> so, so that's kind of the update. Um, Pierre, um, thanks for coming on again. I know there's a lot to digest here, but there's hope. After our video, a yes. lot has gone on. I mean, just dismantling the contents or the comments is a big deal. Yes. Okay. The lawyers messaging us, they're getting scared. It's, it's actually, I know that scares a lot of people, um, but they don't, I don't think they have a legal leg to stand on because nothing you're saying is a lie. Mm -hmm. um, and you have every receipt to prove this. It's crazy. That, yes. the, but the lawyer, you have to understand that those lawyers are getting paid large sums of money and they are just doing what they're supposed to do. Right. Oh, they, yes. they might not even believe her, but it doesn't matter. They are doing what they're supposed to do. And in the end, the truth, the truth will prevail. The truth yes. will prevail every single time. And so they're getting scared. And yes. that's just what's happening right now. For sure. And unfortunately, no, no. Fortunately, the truth does prevail. Karma wins. Yes. And there's justice because you are a good dad. And finally, people are starting to listen. And they've gotten off so many years just absolutely riding the rails of all the money they're making but it doesn't matter in the end it doesn't matter how much money you have if you're a bad parent that stuff's mm -hmm. going to come out it's going to come out eventually money money don't don't buy happiness mm -hmm. money don't buy health no so money money can it doesn't buy like morals that. either <laughs> yeah, so. uh, most likely the opposite okay so pierre after <laughs> this interview i'm going to go read my side of the whole thing with the lawyers um, i'm sure they'll send me another you know try to sue me i don't really care Nah. Because we're not lying here. We're not. Nah. There's no lies, guys. There's no mm -hmm. lies. Everything no we lies. said is backed up by receipts. And yes. uh, they're like, well, you called them disgusting. They are disgusting. They're <laughs> disgusting for exploiting children online. They're yeah. disgusting for keeping their son away from their dad. Sure. You know what I mean? They're disgusting for mm -hmm. lying to their fans. I mean, if you want to sue me for calling you disgusting, let's go. The people said that this guy Ali is cynical. Oh, he's. 
again when Ali's record comes out and yeah. if we can find it it's I, I think that they're the most scared Ali is most scared of what he can lose through all this because yes. Uh, if he has criminal records and everything else going back, that's going to be a big deal. So I got to find a way to get the criminal records from California. I'm still digging into it. I don't know if you can, but I'm going to like, hopefully we'll find them because the truth needs to come out. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. Thank Pierre. you very much again for the interview. God bless you again. And thank you for the, for everything that you are doing for me. All right, thank Pierre, when this is all over. I'm coming out of Mexico. You and I are gonna go get For coconuts, sure. and we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go on the water. We're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna we're gonna celebrate when you get your son back. We're gonna celebrate. We and my son. Yeah, That's right. For sure. Yeah, All thank right, man. You very much. Pierre, thanks so much, and we'll see you again. I promise. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Right. Thanks. It, it can be really scary when you get these letters from lawyers. You know, that's not a lot of people would freak out because of that. But I paid a lawyer a lot of money <laughs> to see. If what I'm doing on this channel could be construed as, you know, can I be sued for this? Can I be sued for slander, libel? And, you know, I'm not going to read what he came back with because I, I paid a lot of money for it. But I'm confident that I'm safe. I'm confident that a lot of people who do the same thing that I do on YouTube are pretty safe, right? If you're giving a commentary, an opinion, it's, un again, unless you are maliciously slandering somebody with lies, outright lies that are just made up out of the blue, there's not really much people can do because, if, you know, I'm fair game. We are all out here putting our stuff on the Internet. You actually in generally, you know, in my opinion, you kind of forego the ability to just be like, don't ever talk about me because you're in public eye. That's just the way it is. Now, will the laws change? Maybe someday. I don't know. Possibly. But for now, we're uh, we're at least covered by fair use. And we're sitting here giving commentary and I'm interviewing a dad who actually is the real dad of this kid. So there's no laws being broken here. There's no, and there's no salacious lies or slander. He's just telling his side of the story. So with that said, I told the lawyer that Andrea and Ali are more than welcome to come on my show and tell their side of the story. I'm happy to have them on. And you guys know me. I'm very polite and we pre-record. I'm not going to throw, you know, I'm not going to be angry. You get a chance to tell your side of the story because I think it's fair. So, and I know they're not going to do that, but I, you know, I offered my platform to come on and tell me your side. Okay, and until then, until they come and clear it up, otherwise, there's really they don't really have a leg to stand on as far as I'm concerned. I believe Pierre until I'm given evidence otherwise. So this is about to get crazy. Like we said in the interview, it's going to get way crazier because what Pierre found out is like when he told me, I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. There are big channels falling down right now and i think youtube and a lot of people especially the state of california a lot of people are buckling down on the idea of these kids are being exploited and i think what a lot of lawmakers are going to start using is child labor laws i think that's what this is really going to come down to if that's the if that's the tool we need to stop this i think it's what it's going to i think it's what it's going to come down to the idea that these kids are working exorbitant amounts of hours and maybe they are getting paid but they're they're who knows you might say that, but they may, they're not, you're not, kids are not supposed to be working jobs. And if they are, they're supposed to like, and they're not, no kid works a normal job, but kid acting gets around it because of the Coogan law. There's something in place for that. So unless they have that in place for Ron, I don't know, maybe they do, but the child labor laws is likely going to be an Achilles is going to be an Achilles heel for family vlogging, I think. And I'm here for it. So Thanks, Pierre, for coming on. I hope this gets more exposure. Please share this video. Please head over to Pierre's TikTok and his YouTube channel. Subscribe. Make sure you sign the change.org petition below. We want to get him here. We want to get him to see his kid. And we, you know, we want to send him good thoughts. And we know this is not going to be easy. We know that Ferran is likely too far gone into the parent parental alienation and maybe even hates his dad or thinks he does. And so I'm really, really hoping that a good therapist can come along and really help this work. I hope that Andrea reaches out and says, look, you can see your son, just take all the stuff. Let's get rid of this drama because this drama is only going to hurt Ferran even more. So I'm hoping that Andrea and Ali just decide to be like, okay, you can see your son. That's all he wants. I'll take everything down. Let him see his son. Let it go through the process. Find a professional that can help. Okay. But don't just don't hide because it's all going to come out now and it's going to get crazy. Everybody take a deep breath. Thanks for joining me on the Dad Challenge podcast. These these stories are have huge impacts legally and socially and everything else. But at its core, again, is a dad who loves his kid and a kid that's being exploited on the internet for millions of dollars. 
And so people need to protect that. And it's really, really scary. Okay, so, but thank you for being here, joining me in this fight. I really appreciate you. Don't ever forget how valuable you are. And I will see you tomorrow.